Hey, what's up guys? I'm a pharmacist. Before you take it, learn through it. So today's here's something you would like to know on what is the difference between ibuprofen, paracetamol, and mefenamic acid, and when you should take it and which one. Whether you got headache, fever, muscle pain, period cramps, or even dental pain, this will help you chose the right over-the-counter options correctly. Okay, so let's start with the most basic one, paracetamol, also known as acetaminophen. It's widely used for fever, everybody knows this one, and it is used as well for mild to moderate pain, especially when inflammation isn't the main issue. So technically, it works primarily in the brain, helping to reduce body's temperature and change how we perceive pain. What's good about paracetamol is that it is gentler on the stomach and generally safe for most patients including children and those with ulcers but for pregnancy the best would be have a supervision with your OBGYN doctor the usual over the counter dose is 500 mg or 1000 mg every 4 to 6 hours or simply either for 500 mg 6 times a day of a tablet or for 1000 mg 4 times a day of a tablet and the maximum is up to 4,000 mg per day. Note this one, you should never go beyond the max dose to avoid any liver damage. Now let's move on to ibuprofen. This one is a bit stronger when it comes to inflammation related pain. So it is usually preferred and used for things like muscle aches, back pain, joint issues, or even dental pain. It works both in the brain and at the site of inflammation by blocking certain substances that trigger pain and swelling. This makes it more effective when there is a visible or internal inflammation involved. However, it is not as gentle on the stomach. And notice one that long-term or high-dose use of this medication can irritate the stomach lining, which is why most of patients with ulcer or sensitive stomach needs to be careful using this one, okay? The typical over-the-counter dose of ibuprofen is 200 or 400 mg. For 200 mg, you can take it as 6 to 4 tablets a day or as needed. And for 400 mg, it is limited to 3 tablets a day. This guide follows the maximum dose of 1,200 mg per day if you're not under a doctor's supervision. Now here comes the mefenamic acid, which is actually in the same drug class as ibuprofen, but it is specifically favored for period cramps and menstrual pain. It works similarly by reducing inflammation and pain signals, but it has slightly different profile that makes it more effective for pain-related uterine contractions. In fact, in many OBGYN settings, this one of the go-to medication for dysmenorrhea. However, just like ibuprofen, it should be taken after meals to avoid stomach upsets. And it is not for long-term daily use. It's more of a short-term situation-specific option. For over-the-counter use, you can initiate this with 500mg dose immediately at the onset of pain. Then followed by 250mg for the next dose every 6 hours as needed if there is pain only. Then continue with 250mg every 6 hours as needed again on the second day. Just remember to do not exceed to 1000mg per day. Note this one, this is not meant to be used beyond a few days in a row. It can be used 1 to 3 days but not more than 7 days. Now a lot of patients ask, can I take two of these together? The answer really depends on the situation and the doctor's guidance. In some cases, alternating paracetamol and ibuprofen can be done for high fever or strong pain like post-surgery or dental procedure. But never combine ibuprofen and mefenamic acid. Remember this one, never combine these two together because they work similarly and combining them increases the risk of side effects, especially on the stomachs and kidneys. So just to summarize, paracetamol is your go-to medication for general pain and fever, especially if you want something gentle, while ibuprofen is best for pain with swelling and sprains, toothaches, or arthritis.
Mephenamic acid is mostly used for period pain or short-term inflammation and not for a long-term treatment. All of them have their own place but it's important to choose the right one based on your body, your pain type and of course any underlying health conditions. And if you have a liver issues, kidney problems or sensitive stomach, it is best to check with your healthcare provider before using any of these regularly.